What's up guys? Welcome back to Flatline Detonation. I'm Dakota. Today we're going to be talking about this six speed going on the car. I'm going to be walking you around, giving you a little bit of an update on where we're at and showing you some parts going on, some other parts going into the car. Pretty much the rear end's all in. Let's go take a look. Put the diff in. I didn't bother painting this because again, it's an R160 and chances are I'm going to explode it and have to just put an R180 in. All the white line lateral links are in. Everything's loose because it's gonna need to be aligned. I'm having an issue though with this, with these white line sway bar brackets. This one seems like the hole should be drilled on the other side. I've contacted white line and I need to send them pictures now and go from there. They might have to send me a new mount because if I push the sway bar in, it binds against this bushing and tries to push the bushing out if I put it in that hole. So that's an issue, but we'll figure it out. I also got these lockdown bolts. Sorry, White Line. I bought Carboy. Please still consider me for a sponsorship. But what these are going to do is they're going to go in that, that third hole in the middle. Right, meh. And they are going to center this rear subframe. As you can see, it's off to one side a little bit. This is unbolted. Um, because of the play in these bolts, the rear subframe can actually move back and forth, and that messes up your alignment. So if you get these lockdown bolts, it holds your subframe right in place. It does increase the NVF, the, the noise you hear inside the cab, but this car doesn't have any sound deadening on the floor, so that kind of went out the window already. I've got this all just laid in there. It's got to come back off because I can put the drive shaft in. And we can move on to putting the, putting the six speed in. When I removed this from that donor WRX that someone had swapped this into, I got really bummed out because I noticed it had a male end, which the male ends are usually like an 04 STI and they're not a good they're not as good of a transmission if you look at the trans code you look that up that'll verify this is an 06 STI trans so I was stuck with the dilemma of male side on this side female on the other and someone at one point put two different axes in the car I don't know why but I had these STI axles from my last car but I didn't think the the ABS tone rings were the same, they were spaced different. But if we take a look at the tone rings and the spacing on the axle, they're exactly the same. So these two WX axles can just be tossed to the side. I'll keep I'll keep the male one as a spare in case I break an axle at the track. But I'm really glad I get rid of these because this thing. I guarantee one launch in this car to just snapped them. And you can see the size comparison. It's not much, but this is definitely thicker than than the stock WX ones. Which brings me to the next point. Uh, I've already gone ahead and done this, so I'm not that strong, but just pull these out. These are basically just the same thing as the end of one of these, just a reversed order. Now we have two holes on each side of the trans. We have two stock STI axles. We should be good to go. Now we just have to worry about blowing rear axles out of the car. Like everything, I cleaned it down, pressure washed it, degreased it. I really hit this part, so you guys will see me struggle in this time lapse.
Daddy, Terrence is in, and my floor is covered in oil. I even drained the oil out of this before I put it in, so just goes to show you how much it retains inside, even when it's drained. All right, let's put some axles in the car. the brakes again taps and dies are your best friend I clean these bad boys up they're pretty gunky these pads um, are about shot but I need to I need to seat the rotors and then get new pads so I'll probably get some Hawk HP plus or some Carbotech XP 8s not sure I haven't decided yet ready to see what brake lines got to go on these are for the rear the rear brakes are already on I picked up these Ultra premium coated rotors from Napa. Uh, maybe it'll help from from uh, these centers and outers not rusting. We'll see. I was anxious and I wanted to put it on the ground. Ooh, look at that stance nation. Hella tucked, bro. Definitely gonna have to raise it up a couple inches. I wish that rust wasn't there too. It makes it look so bad, but it'll get fixed. This side's not so bad. Probably go up uh, half an inch, three quarters of an inch. Those brakes though, ooh. That's where I'm going to leave you guys today. Six speeds in, the whole drive line's in, everything's good, everything's buttoned up under there. We've got some wiring stuff to do now. We've got to get it corner balanced and aligned. And then the big thing is the engine. Changed my mind on what I'm doing with the engine. More to come on that. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe. See you guys next time.